Hai, naitwa Anton Luvanda, almaarufu kama MC Luvanda. Na nakushukuru sana kwa wewe kuweza kuangalia video hii. The fact that you are watching this video is there are probably two or three things. Cha kwanza inawezekana you want to become a competent MC. That's why you're watching this. Or probably you know a person who wants to become the best MC. So that's why you're watching this and probably you want to recommend to your friend. Okay, lakini ninachotaka kukuambia kwamba natena kukaribisha rasmi katika DVD hii na lengo ikiwa ni kukusaidia wewe au ndugu yako au rafiki yako aweze kuwa the best MC in town. Okay, and I'm going to share with you 10 years of experience. Kitu gani ambacho kimefanya kazi kwangu na kitu gani ambacho hakijafanya kazi kwangu. So I'm going to share with you my personal experience. Na naamini kwamba 10 years of experience is worth sharing. Okay? So, welcome on the show and I'm about to release or to unleash my secret of success. Join me and stay tuned and be here right now. WMC ni kazi kama kazi nyingine is a professional just like any other professional. The problem is watu wengi wanaichukulia poa. Na kosa lingine ambalo linafanyika ni kwamba hakuna chuo cha kujifunza WMC. Probably that's why I'm releasing this video in order to help you to become the competent MC. So the first things first, MC if it is a professional like any other professionalism which means that you need to maintain kuwa professional sasa kuna ethics zake okay na nimeamua ku venture mc katika category ya public speaking so in order for you to become one of the competent mcs is for you to follow aspect the public speaking okay na naomba hapa nitoe homework public speaker anatakiwa kufanya nini anatakiwa kusema nini mbele ya kadam nasi okay there are a lot of skills that you need to master and one of them is a people skill you need to master public speaking skills you need to master time management skills all this as a skills au ni ujuzi ambao unatakiwa ku accumulate ili uweze kuwa very successful if you treat umc as a very professional way then you're going to enjoy the professionalism profile okay na utakuwa una trend kwa muda mrefu because umezingatia vigezo na masharti vya kuwa public speaker with the professional level okay now talking about people's management or people management skill na maanisha nini ni kwamba lazima ujifunze kwa sababu biashara hii ni biashara ya watu Napozungumza kwamba ni biashara ya watu maana yake lazima ujifunze on how you can truly manage people. Watu watakuja na kiwa na hasira, mwingine atakuja akiwa na kirere, mwingine atakuja akiwa na hiki. All these people you need to know jinsi gani ya kuweza ku control. Uwe na masikio ya kusikiliza, uwe na masikio ya kuelewa. Na unapozidi kuwaelewa watu itakusaidia wewe kuweza kudili nao kwa jinsi ambayo ni rahisi zaidi. Nao kuna watu aina mbalimbali kisaikolojia. Lakini kikubwa of course nimeongea kwenye DVD nyingine uh, na linki iko hapo itakuonyesha chini uweze kujua ni DVD gani nimeongea hilo. Lakini unapodili na watu ni lazima ujifunze sasa jinsi gani ambavyo unaweza kaendana nao wasikukwaze na wewe usiwakwaze kwa sababu sheria ni ya kwao. Kumbuka. Na hata ukikukwaza basi usionyeshe kwamba umekwazika. Hiyo pia ni skill ambayo unatakiwa kuijua. Jambo lingine ambalo la msingi kabisa la kwanza nalo pia kuweza kujua ni kwamba eh, wewe you are mainly a facilitator. Event sio ya kwako. Event ni ya wenyewe. Kuna watu wamechanga pesa zao wakakuita wewe uweze ku facilitate tu event yao. Kwa hiyo which means that you need to be flexible to listen to your client, kumhudumia kwa karibu na kumsikiliza kila anachokitaka yeye. Unaweza toka mshauri vitu vile vitatu kwa sababu wewe you are in the field but again customize your solutions that's what i'm trying to say customize your solutions kwa mteja wako msikilize nataka nini na usidominate shere ma mc wengi wana hijack shere za watu wao ndio wanakuwa center of attention be careful don't dominate just facilitate and once you facilitate you're going to be the best mzuri kwenye kuongea vizuri maisha yako yatakuwa maraisi sana unapokuwa kwenye kwenye na mambo yako yatakuwa yanafanikiwa kiraisi zaidi kuna mtu anaitwa Les Brown anaweza kusema unapofungua kinywa chako unawaambia watu wewe ni nani when you open your mouth you tell people who you are kwa sababu ya mjazayo mtu moyo ni mwake ndio anaomtoka sasa lazima uweke vitu vya maana ili ukiwa unafungua kinywa chako uwete vitu vinavyoeleweka Okay na UMC sio kuongea tu ndio maana watu wanaitwa MC kama msema chochote wana wanamuita MC msema chochote sababu mezoeleka ni mtu ambaye anawabwabwaja bwabwaja tu 
usifanye hilo kosa kama watakuwa competent MC katika karne ya 21. Nilichokuja kugundua ni kwamba watu wengi kwa sasa hivi hawapendi MC ambaye anabwabwaja sana. Okay? Kwa jitahidi sana upunguze idadi ya maneno. And here nitakufundisha jinsi gani ambavyo unaweza kupunguza idadi ya maneno. Cha kwanza kabisa jitahidi kabisa ya kwamba ukutane na maharusi wako mapema na waulize vitu vya msingi mapema. Okay? Kumbuka nilikwambia kwamba ukiwahi mapema utaweza kujua naye atafungua kwa sala, lazima ujue naye anafungua champagne, keki imekaa vipi. Hivi ni vitu ambavyo unatakiwa uvijue mapema, uwe na details mapema. Kuliko umefika tu unaanza kuuliza, "Eh, jamani aliandaliwa kwa ajili ya sala?" You don't need to do that. Pata details mapema na hiyo itakusaidia unaenda straight forward kwenye nani atafungua kwa sala. Okay? Inapofika swala kwa mfano um, keki, uhitaji kumuuliza kutoa maelezo yote kwenye mic kwa mfano eh, unaanza kusema kwamba eh, sasa naomba bwana harusi kama takisu nyanyua juu eh, kateni hiyo keki alafu zina chukua kiuma eh, mlishe bibi harusi hayo ni maelezo unatakiwa uyatoe kwa maharusi mapema kabisa and once you do that it means kwamba utapunguza maneno kwenye mic okay uh, vitu kama champagne kwa mfano imemwagika ushakuona uh, mc anaanza kuita jamani wala watu wachooni waje hapa wafute hapa chini naona kuna maji yamemwagika you don't need to mtu unayemwambia afanye hiyo kazi ni mmoja au wawili kwa nini watangazia watu 400 au 500 walioko pale fanya mapema maji unaona yamemwagika mtafute mwana kamati mwambie bwana naomba unitie watu wachooni waje wafute pale in that sense utapunguza idadi ya maneno ambayo unakuwa unayaongea. Unapokuwa unaongea na maharusi kabla au mwanakamati au floor manager kabla inakusaidia wewe kutokutangaza hivyo vitu on the mic. Kitu kingine ambacho watu wengi naona kwa lugha desperate ni kutangaza namba zao za simu. Uhitaji kutangaza namba za simu. Shoka na MC anafika, e, mimi ndo naitwa MC Luvanda, jamani kama unanihitaji angalia namba zangu. Namba zangu za simu ni kama ifuatavyo 0754450450. Tafadhali nipigie namba au unaweza kunicheck namba yangu ya boda. Si you don't need to do that watu hawezi kukrem namba zako za simu utakuwa unaonekana unapiga kelele kila wakati okay kwa jitahidi namba zako za simu ziandaliwe mapema kama umeweka kwenye ratiba kwenye kila meza ziko pale na watu wataziona pale tembea na business card ikifika wakati unachomoa business card unampa mtu okay so don't be, be desperate kwanza kujitangaza over the mic utakuwa unaboa na mwanzoni tu pale watu wako wanne tayari umeshatangaza cho wameingia tena watu watano umetangaza cho Watu tena wako kumi umetangaza cho. Yaani unajikuta matangazo ya chooni umeyatoa zaidi ya mara 15. Don't make that mistake. Kwa hiyo unapoanza kupunguza, hapo nakusaidia upunguze idadi ya maneno ambayo unayatoa. Okay? Kwa sababu ukiwa na maneno mengi utawaboa watu na unakuwa monotonous. Unapokuwa monotonous ni hali ya kuzoeleka kwenye sikio la msikilizaji. Matokeo yake ni kwamba hawapay attention kwa kitu ambacho unakiongea. Lakini unapokuwa unaongea maneno machache ukishika mic kila mtu anataka kusikia MC anataka kufanya kusema nini and that's one of the effective way to communicate unakuwa ni mtu ambaye ukitamka neno linakuwa lina make sense kwa siku zote jitahidi make fewer words kuwa na maneno machache waruhusu watu wawe more entertained okay na MC sio kila kitu lazima ukiongee kwenye mic that's my concept kama umesahau kila kitu kumbuka kwamba si kila kitu lazima ukiongee kwenye mic time management jinsi ambavyo unaweza kwa uratibu muda kuanzia mwanzo wa sherehe mpaka mwisho wa sherehe so because it's all about how do you manage your time because if you're a good time manager people going to like you and we are paid by bringing the value to the marketplace through time na nitakueleza maana yake nini kwa ndio vizidi kuendelea kwa lazima ujifunze uwe ni mtu ambaye una manage muda vizuri una manage vipi muda mzuri lazima wewe uwai kwanza kwenye sherehe hiyo ni jambo la muhimu sana kuwa na discipline wewe kama MC ni service provider na mtu ambaye anakupa pesa kwa wewe kuweza kutoa service anataka uwai mapema huku mbili usilete tension okay usilete tension kwa mteja kwa kuchelewa why would you be late okay kwa ni muhimu sana kuwai lakini ukisha why hakikisha uangalie jinsi gani ambavyo unaanza sherehe muda gani na unamaliza muda gani ma MC wengi au walio wengi wanakosea kwenye kumaliza sherehe na kukuta watu wamekaa huku mbili mpaka saa saba za usiku saa nane, saa tisa. kwa nini waweke ya watu kwangu mimi huyo ni mtu ambaye hatunzi muda vizuri kwa hiyo kutunza muda vizuri ni muhimu sana wewe uweze kujali muda wako hakisha kwamba una manage blocks kuna vitu vinaitwa time blocks 
muda gani utaanza muda gani watu wanakula chakula na muda gani utamaliza time blocks ni unaugawanya ule muda kuanzia saa moja ambao uliokuwa umekadiria muda uweze kuanza sherehe yako mpaka saa sita. jitahidi kwamba ikifika saa tatu kwa mfano watu wanakula maximum saa tatu na nusu maana ni kwamba itakusaidia wewe uweze kuwa flexible okay kwamba sio kile kitu ulichoandika kwenye timetable ndicho ambacho lazima kifuatwe kwa sababu lazima unajua kabisa kwamba hapa lazima ikifika saa tatu tuende tukale Okay. na ikifika saa tatu kwenda tukale maana ni kwamba utaweza ku adjust matukio mengine chakula ikawa priority. Kwa nini chakula kiwe priority? Watu wengi majumbani mwao wanakula saa mbili na nusu kuanzia saa mbili, saa mbili na nusu mpaka saa tatu. Wamezidi sana saa tatu na nusu. Unapompeleka mtu ale saa nne saa tano tumbo lake alijazoea na ndio maana chakula kinabaki. And you don't want to do that. Sherehe ni kula kunywa na kucheza. Okay? So which means set your block time kwa mbaki fika saa tatu, mwisho saa tatu na nusu lazima watu wao wamechakula au watu wanaanza kula saa tatu na nusu. Hii itakusaidia sana kuseti block yako iweze kuvizuri. Mapendekezo yangu, sherehe ambayo inaanza saa moja kwa mfano, muda wa Kiafrika. Hapo tunasema you are good to go. Ikifika saa moja na nusu, yes that's a sun, some, some, something that you can live with. Ikifika saa mbili, mm, hiyo nianza taa nyekundu inaanza kuwaka, inaanza kuwata taa ya njano inaelekea kuwata taa nyekundu. Ikifika saa mbili na nusu hiyo ni tanya kumbe. Ikifika saa tatu, hiyo ni maututi. Okay? Kwa hiyo mtoto ambao unajua kabisa umeanza kwenye event yako saa tatu. Maana yake ni kwamba una masaa matatu tu ya kufanya event yako. Kwa jitahidi kwamba event yako ianze saa moja. Umechelewa sana saa mbili. Another element ambayo inaweza kukusaidia wewe kuwa the most competent MC is smartness. All right. Les Brown again, one of my mentors always kusema dress like a prospect not like a suspect. Okay? Yaani unapovaa, vaa kama mtu ambaye anatarajiwa, kama mtarajiwa, usivae kama mshutumiwa. Yaani hata ikatokea simu ya watu imeibiwa hapo basi watu wasikushike wewe. Eh? Ah, uh, wewe tumezoea kwamba MC ni mtu ambaye anavaa vitu vya ajabu ajabu. Unakuta MC kavaa kiatu kimenyanyuka kama jokeli namna hii. Alafu kavaa koti mpaka uko chini. Ana mikanda zaidi ya sita hapa kaipanga. Eh, alafu baada anatoa koti. Anyway, mistake kujaja watu. Lakini wewe kama kwa unataka kuwa wa karibu ni moja You must dress well, dress smart, be decent. Tunaposema kwamba kuwa smart haimaanishi kwamba e, uvunje kabati kwa kununua vitu ambavyo ni very expensive. No, you can be simple but you can be smart. Nakauka ni kuvaa yako lakini imekaa vizuri. Mimi nakumbuka ati naanza kazi hizi nikilipwa hela, siji siji siende kufanya vitu vingine cha kwanza naenda kununua nguo nzuri. And you know what? Ilinipa. Okay? Kwa hiyo kununua nguo mpya au kununua nguo nzuri sio kwamba unatumia hela vibaya you are investing back to that business and the reason why i'm saying being smart is because smartness inaonyesha kwamba una respect kazi ya mtu basi vaa mavazi pia ya heshima kama dada vaa nguo ambayo ni decent mpaka chini kuna watu wazima pale ambao ni kama wazazi wako okay sio dada unapiga umini huo watu wanashindwa ku concentrate kutokana na maneno ambayo unaongea watu wanaanza kuangalia paja don't make that mistake pia jitahidi sana nguo unazovaa zisiwe oversize especially kwa wanaume unakuta mkoti umevaa umefika mpaka huku mwanangu eh au umefika mpaka huko chini no lisiwe loose iwe slim fit vizuri kabisa okay lakini pia uh, jitahidi pia isiwe uh, ndogo sana ikakubana mpaka kwa unashindwa hata kunyanyua mkono wako kuweka sawa okay so, iwe nguo ambayo you are flexible and you look smart lakini pia jitahidi sana lakini pia jitahidi sana kuweza kumechisha e, kitu kinachoitwa color combination okay make sure that you do color combination uh, your shoes your your suruali yako shati lako jacket lako okay when you talk about pin uh, label pin or pocket square how does it match na kama wewe ni color blind basi tafuta wataalamu wao wanaku dress Okay kuna watu wengi sana. In fact hata ukiingia kwenye Google sasa hivi, wanaweza kukueleza jinsi gani on how you can be uh, you can blend the colors. It's very very important to blend the colors because colors speaks a lot. Okay? Kwa ujifunze, uh, kuna account nyingi za Instagram ambazo zinahusiana mambo ya fashion unaweza ukafollow. Okay, kuna account nyingi za YouTube ambazo zinazungumza fashion too, men's fashion or ladies fashion. Okay, so try to trend na public fashions ambazo zinaweza zikamtoa gentleman as a gentleman. So I believe 
if you follow and you become smart, that can increase a lot of credit to your branding. Okay, na hiyo na leta kwenye somo number kama tano hivi, you ya branding on how you can brand yourself. Okay, tunapozungumzia swala zima la branding, tunazungumza on how you carry yourself, especially when it comes to the name. Tunapotamka MC Lovanda, what comes to your mind? Okay, na hii tunaanza moja kwa moja na jina. Jina gani ambao unalitumia kwenye market matters a lot. Chagua jina zuri. Punguza AKA. Nimeshakuta watu wanajiita AKA nyingi. Kwa hiyo inaweza kawa ni nzuri lakini jina linapokuwa refu sana na yenyewe huwa linachosha watu. We don't need kwenye business name we don't need to have the full name eh, MC Anthony Dungamu Luvanda why is that just keep it simple like MC Luvanda okay it's just short straight to the point so avoid AKAs na unakuta mtu ana AKA zaidi ya moja don't do that okay na pia avoid kutaja the full name find a short six name that's how you're going to kill it watu wanashindwa sasa wajue ni nini unatakiwa kufanya so if it is MC Luvanda MC Luvanda that's all. If it is MC Jenny, MC Jenny. Okay, as simple as that. Find a good name. Kuna mtu anaitwa Jack Ma, a Chinese billionaire. Aliwahi kusema one of the keys to be successful in business is to have a good name. Okay? So make sure that you have a good name ambayo inaweza katamkika. Swala zima la kujitangaza ni muhimu sana, especially wewe kama mjasiriamali, wewe kama MC. Okay? Na njia rahisi ya kujitangaza ni kupitia mitandao ya kijamii. How do you use effectively kitu kinachoitwa social media? Social media is very cheap kwa sababu you don't use a lot of money on social media, okay? Iko kwenye traditional media inabidi ulipe hela nyingi kutangaza jina lako. Lakini mimi ningekushauri fungua page yako ambayo itakuwa strictly for business. Kama ni MC Luvanda ni MC Luvanda. Kama ni kwenye Facebook, kama kwenye Twitter, all over social media, make sure that you use your proper name, okay? Ambayo ni business name. Na pia avoid sana kupost vitu ambavyo ni private. Okay, uko na bei wako mwenyewe umepost. Sijui uko migombani uko umepost. Si mtu kafa unampost kwenye page yako. No. Make sure that page yako inakuwa dedicated kwa ajili ya wateja na vitu ambavyo vinafanana na vitu ambavyo unavifanya kama MC. That's the best way to brand yourself. Na wachina wanamsema wao wanasema kwamba a picture speaks a thousand words. Picha tu kwa hiyo kutumia mitandao ya kijamii especially kama unaeleza picha zaidi itakupa trend ya hatari sana kwenye branding lakini pia unaweza ukaanzisha website yako wewe mwenyewe of course website is kind of expensive but you can start with a blog for example msilovanda.blogspot au msilovanda.com okay mimi wateja wangu nilionao na wapata internationally across the globe na wateja kutoka Marekani wateja kutoka Sweden na wateja kutoka Scotland na wateja kutoka Bangladesh India wherever because across the globe kwa sababu wanaweza kwa book online so how can you access your customers okay kupitia website yako hiyo ni kwenye part ya branding how do you brand yourself and once you have your own domain like msvan.com it shows kwamba uko business uko serious katika business na pia unaweza uka fanya kazi za watu inavyoeleweka. Okay, so I believe those uh, tips on branding zitakuwa zimekusaidia sana. And now, let's see on another element ambayo itakusaidia kuwa the best MC. Kitu kingine ambacho kinaweza kukusaidia zaidi ni wewe power the best of the best is be and stay fit. All right? Be and stay. Hiyo ni keywords ambayo unaitika. Lazima uwe na uendelee kuwa physically fit. Okay? And fit could be extended not only physically but mentally and spiritually. The reason why inakwambia uwe fit wakati wote ni kwa sababu kazi hii inakutaka wewe uwe wewe. Lakini kingine inakuuza wewe. You are the product. Hauzi maandazi, hauzi cheni, hauzi bangili, hauzi simu. You are selling you. So if you don't stay fit, itakusumbua sana because you are the product. Inamaanisha nini? Inamaanisha kwamba now you need to check out eh, tabia zako ambazo unazifanya kila siku. Tabia kwanza ambayo unatakiwa kudevelop as a new habit ni kuanza kufanya mazoezi. Hata kama upendi, right? Hata kama upendi jitahidi uanze kufanya mazoezi. Mazoezi atakufanya mwili wako uwe flexible kwa sababu unasimama e, masaa matatu, manne, or rather mpaka sita, saba. Umesimama unaongea, kuongea kunatakiwa utumie nguvu 
eh, ambayo itakuwa na energy watu wakikuangalia waone kabisa kwamba your energy level iko high sasa uwezi kuipata hiyo bila kufanya mazoezi lakini pia kitu kingine ni kwamba the reason why i'm saying you need to stay fit ni kwa sababu ukiumwa na kazi inaumwa na kipato kinaumwa so it means that lazima uwe makini sana kwa hiyo kama utajitahidi kufanya mazoezi hususan ya viungo you're going to be staying fit okay na kitu kingine pia unahitaji kuangalia vitu ambavyo unakula okay yeah so nataka kuwa the competent mc listen to me so you need lazima you give up some drinks uh, things like soda like beers Okay, uh, inabidi uanze kufanya substitute sasa. Uanze kunywa juisi ambazo unaweza kutengeneza nyumbani zaidi. Uh, lazima uanze kunywa maji mengi ya kutosha. Kwa nini? Unapoanza kufanya hivyo, uh, itajisababisha kwamba hata tone ya ngozi yako itabadilika. Watu wengi wanahangaika e, wanapaka ma makeup manini, lakini uzuri unaanzia ndani. Ukiwa na maji ya kutosha kwenye mwili, umepunguza sukari, umepunguza masumsumu haya itakusaidia sana utaanza kuona effect yake energy level yako itaongezeka uh, uhitaji kunywa vitu vingine ambavyo vinakusababisha wewe uanze kutafuta uh, utafuta nguvu kwa nguvu isaanza kuja kuwa natural kitu kingine ambacho kitakusaidia wewe kuwa fit ni kuangalia vyakula unavyokula okay uh, jitahidi usile vyakula ambavyo ni fast food uh, express food uh, una grab to junkies like chips my fast fast uspende vyakula ambavyo ni deep fried of course e, pia punguza gluten vitu kama chapati maandazi mikate kwa hiyo unaweza kuwa unatumia vyakula vizuri lakini unashangaa hauna nguvu ya kutosha kwa sababu utumbo wako umejaa matakataka kwa hiyo pia ni mzuri sana ku detoxify na hapa na recommend sana uh, viondosha sumu kuna several juices that can help you to detoxify your body and every day a simple detoxification ambayo mimi naifanya ni kwamba kila usiku kabla sijalala lazima ninywe limao okay limao na maji ya moto kidogo na pigele inasaidia pia kusafisha koo lako linakuwa liko vizuri unaweka na asali kidogo kwa sauti inakuwa iko na nzuri lakini pia nikiamka asubuhi kabla sija fanya piga mswaki na nini lazima pia nipate maji ya limao yale yanasaidia sana kufanya detoxification so jitahidi uanze kunywa uh, maji ya kutosha uh, wanasema at least 3 liters a day okay uh, kujitahidi kunywa uh, juices ambazo ni za kutengeneza nyumbani nguvu nzuri zaidi kuko juices za mabox uh, anza pia kupunguza vitu kama soda uspende sana kunywa soda ni mbaya sana okay kwa sababu itaathi mwili wako wanasema mwili ukiwa na asidi nyingi ndani yake ukiwa hauko alkanized vya kutosha unaweka unakuwa prone to diseases unaanza kupata magonjwa kitu kingine pia ni kufanya supplementation uh, supplements ni muhimu sana vyakula tunavyokula havina uh, nutrients za kutosha sasa hivi uh, vingi vinachakachuliwa kwa sababu ya biashara so you wanna supplement your your, your diet yeah? kwa hiyo utafuta supplements yapo makampuni mengi ambayo wanahusika na supplements uh, so i use several supplements ambazo zinasaidia to give all the nutrients that my body requires because your body cannot produce uh, supplements cannot produce all the essential minerals you get them from other sources ndio maana nasema supplementation pia ni rais itakusaidia wewe kuwa flexible na pia na control mood yako unakuwa mtu yote wakati wote unafuraha mtu akikukwaza kwenye wedding ukasiriki kwa sababu you have supplemented yourself kwa hiyo ni vizuri kujikinga wanasema kinga ni bora kuliko tiba kwa na afya ni matokeo ya vitu unavyofanya kila siku. Kwa ukiwa na unaanza kufanya vitu vyako katika namna ambayo inasaidia zaidi kuweza kuweka afya yako katika mwelekeo mzuri, unakuwa na matokeo mazuri zaidi. Na hata ukiingia huku mbili mwanangu unakuwa uko fit, unasimama, you crack a joke with a sense of humor. Eh, everybody gonna love you because you have energy. ongeza thamani ongeza thamani ongeza thamani hii ni element ambayo itakusaidia sana na itakupa competitive edge kwenye market kwa nini mimc wanaweza kawa wengi lakini marketplace itawa favor market force itawa favor wale ambao wanaongeza thamani katika products zao okay kwa jitahidi wewe kama mc uongeze thamani tunaongezaje thamani thamani inaongezeka kwa mambo kama matatu au manne. Cha kwanza ni kuongeza kiwango, quantity. Cha pili ni kuongeza quality au ubora. Okay, na cha tatu ni kuongeza speed. Mambo faster faster. Lakini cha nne ni kuongeza fun. Nataongea kwa kifupi ili uweze kuelewa. Uh, Ninapozungumza quantity ni kwamba uh, ongeza, ushaikwenda kwa mangi baada ya kuv- 
umeomba fungu moja la nyanya jamaa anakuongezea fungu lingine au anakupa nyanya mbili nyongeza siku zote ni nyongeza ni muhimu sana kwa wewe anapokuja mteja wako pamoja na kwamba wewe ni MC okay kitu gani kingine cha ziada unaweza kufanya okay labda utamwambia mimi nitakupa champagne labda uh, ambao ataifungua bwana harusi mwenyewe au bibi harusi mwenyewe au uh, mwingine atasema labda mimi nitatoa uh, one night labda uh, ya honeymoon you can always do that okay uspende ku consume tu kwa sababu umelipwa wewe milioni moja basi unataka kila kitu utumie wewe hapana give back unapofanya hivyo unaongeza thamani okay lakini pia kutabani niweze kaongezeka kwa quality kiwango cha ubora hakikisha vitu vyako unavyovitoa viwe classic nao vitu classic ni very expensive hiyo ujue lakini wanasema cheap is expensive you don't want to be cheap kwa sababu cheapness ina matatizo yake so jitahidi siku zote unapo kazi yako iwe ni kazi ya ubora kimprove we mwenyewe muonekano wako tumeshazungumza swala la jinsi ya kujibrand tumeshazungumza jinsi ya kuwa smart invest in that invest in yourself ongeza thamani yako kwa kuongeza quality yako kuongeza ubora wako ninapozungumza juu ya speed jitahidi watu siku hizi wataki kupoteza muda nimeshaongea kwenye time management manage your time well fanya vitu vyako pa 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 usiwe mtu wa kupoteza muda okay speed watu wataki siku hizi kuvuta vuta wataki watu mtu anaechelewa huku mbili jitahidi uwe mtu ambaye unaongeza thamani kwa speed jitahidi kifika saa sita umeshamaliza shughuli ya watu utaongeza thamani okay lakini cha mwisho kwenye kuongeza thamani ni have a little bit of fun okay life is not too hard man just involve some fun now kuna watu wengine wanazidisha hapa ile kuongeza fun ndo anakuja na lisuruali limefika lina mikanda sita afu linafungiwa hapa anakuja na tai kafupi kana ningenia hapa eh don't do that don't be that one mtu anakuja na viatu vimenyanyuka hivi of course nimeshaongea katika swali mara kwa smart Yes it can be fun but there's too much fun. Okay? Some people of course crack the jokes. Yes do but don't over cracking the jokes. Kuna mtu mwingine akanikaa tunaenda kwenye sherehe moja jamaa moja akasema MC, "Ah, muangalie." Akanamuita baba mko rafiki yangu. Baba mko amefuraha, amependeza japendeza. Jamaa ni kipala chake kama uwanja wa ndege. Now that was embarrassing. Okay? So create this sense of humor. Be funny guy but don't overdo it. If you overdo it, definitely utaharibu unless you are a comedian okay if you are a comedian then probably thamani yako ni kuweka comedy katika kila kitu okay so i believe those few principles ambazo zitakusaidia jinsi ya kuongeza thamani zitakupa competitive edge na utakuwa the best mc ever ever been told check it out Now, concept moja hapo pia ambayo unatakiwa kuwa very careful unapokuwa kama MC is how do you deal with the VIPs? VIPs ni wageni maalumu ambao wanaweza kuja kwenye sherehe. Inawezekana ni viongozi wa kisiasa au viongozi wa kidini ambao ni very powerful. Labda unakuta baba mdogo ni mheshimiwa waziri. Sasa ma MC wengi wao wanakosea kwa kumchukua yule VIP kuwa ndio very very VIP kuliko bwana harusi au bibi harusi. Don't do that mistake anapoingia VIP hakikisha kwamba ha overshadow bwana harusi wala bibi harusi lakini unakuta mamsi wengi wanakosea anaanza kila wakati mheshimiwa 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 anamtaja kuanzia mheshimiwa mwanzo mpaka mwisho don't do that acknowledge presence ya waheshimiwa lakini usifanye waheshimiwa ndio wakawa waka hijack agenda okay what i'm trying to say is mheshimiwa of the waheshimiwa ni bwana harusi au bibi harusi kwa nyile ile sherehe kwa jitahidi sana ku avoid kila wakati kutaja waheshimiwa na hata waheshimiwa wenyewe pia wawajisikie vizuri kutajwa wakati kila wakati kwa punguza kutaja waheshimiwa sana kwenye sherehe yoyote lakini wa acknowledge ila usiwataje sana ili kupunguza wao ku hijack sherehe ya watu remember aliyekuita kwenye sherehe sio mheshimiwa aliyekupa kazi ni yule bwana harusi au bibi harusi au wanakamati. So, zingatia sana hicho kipengele pia ni tipu ambayo inaweza kukusaidia ukawa move na ukawa the best MC. Thank you. So, asante sana kwa kuangalia video hii na naamini kabisa ya kwamba nitakuwa nimekusaidia with the fundamentals au principles ambazo wewe when you apply them then you can become the best of the best. But also I would love to welcome to my classes. You can call the number ambayo inaonekana size kwenye screen ili tuweze kuwasiliana so that we can give you more training ya wewe kupata jinsi ya kupata uzoefu zaidi na kuwa the best of the best because again i have not spoken everything in this dvd siongea kila kitu lakini naamini when you join our classes 
and whereby you can get practical experience, then you're going to cement your talent with experience and then you're going to be the best MC in town. Welcome to the Universe.